What's going on guys, Luke here with Wilson Auto Detailing. I'm a pro detailer based out of Nashville, Tennessee. In this video, I wanna talk about interior and exterior car glass because, well, it sucks. Car glass was one of those things in the more beginning stages of my detailing business that really kept me from feeling like I did a good job because I didn't know how to fix some of the problems that I was seeing. So let's talk about some of the biggest problems that detailers experience with car glass, why, and how to fix them literally right now. The number one thing that hurts detailers is the product that they're using. This is a really famous product in the detailing world, along with many others. This, of course, is an aerosol can product. It's called Invisible Glass from Stoner. They also have it in a little spray bottle. This is one of my favorite interior glass cleaners. It is tint safe, but it helps most detailers avoid the main problem, which I'll get to in just a second. This can be sprayed on the glass just like this. I can let it sit there for just a second. Now, what happens to most detailers is they're sitting here cleaning up the glass just like this, and they realize, wait a second, I cannot get streak-free glass. No matter how many times I flip my towel around, look at how hazy this is. I can literally draw my name in it. What the heck's going on? Well, just for dramatic effect, I'm going to literally keep wiping and keep wiping and keep wiping. You can see in different angles, but the glass is still super hazy and there's still some beads of product and it just looks absolutely terrible. Why is this happening? Well, one of the reasons why it's difficult to identify what the actual problem is here is because the problem is environmental. It has nothing to do with the product. It has nothing to do with your towel and it has nothing really to do with your technique. What's happened is today has been a really rainy day. It's super humid humid in this particular environment. So no matter how many times I wipe, as long as there is even a little bit of product on my towel, I am going to get a bunch of streaks because the product is not drying. The simple way to fix problem number one here is to wipe with my initial wiping towel as much as I can, sit back for 30 to 45 seconds, literally let the product dry if you have to, let it fog up, let it haze up, come in about 45 seconds later with a new towel that's completely dry, then wipe off the surface level layer of fog and haze. Ironically, the humidity that condenses on the interior of the glass reactivates any of the dried product that's been sitting on the interior window. And because it's just a thin slice of product that's left, it comes off very easily with a second completely dry towel. That's how you fix problem number one. So let's get into problem number two. I take my product. I spray it just like I normally would. It's not humid. We'll pretend like it's not humid. I start wiping just like this. And no matter how much I wipe, I keep seeing streaks on the window. Most of the time, with windows, there's one big problem. It's streaks and we don't know how to fix it. No matter how many towels I introduce, no matter how long I wait for the product to dry and then I come back in because I'm using solution number one here, trying to make sure it's not humidity, I just keep getting a bunch of streaks and I don't understand why. Well, here's problem number two. Most detailers think that most glass cleaners are actually glass cleaners. Yes, I know it's called a glass cleaner, but in my opinion, it would better be categorized as a glass shine if you're dealing with interior glass that is not regularly maintained what ends up happening is you have different types of fog, haze, evaporated solvents on the interior of the window from different sources and glass cleaners are not nearly enough to pull off that residue. It's why you have to introduce an IPA solution, a 50-50 dilution of alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and distilled water. When I take 50-50 rubbing alcohol and distilled water, because we don't want any calcium deposits or anything that's found in hard water, some of those precipitates, some of those solids, so the alcohol alcohol is designed to cut the fog or the hard to clean fog and haziness of the interior window off. So the window cleaning becomes a two-step process. The first step of the process is actually the 50-50 alcohol. That's what cleans everything off. Some of you guys might be wondering, well, why would there be a type of fog or a type of haze on the interior of a window that's really difficult to pull off? Generally speaking, it's found in two different forms. Number one, some kid that's got like nasty stuff on his hands and he just sticks his hand on the window and it helps you kind of spread it around. That's why you get the streaks, okay? Because you're spreading around dirt. The second type of kind of fog and haze that comes on the interior of windows is generally found from different things kind of gassing out or venting. Sometimes you can have plastic that like gases out essentially in really hot environments. And so it does kind of create this vapor that kind of rises from the dash and it does stick to the windshield. The other thing that happens is if you use types of dressings like armor all or different things like that in hot environments, it does literally start to evaporate and it kind of subtly sticks to the interior of windows. Outside of that, it can really come from anywhere. The point is it's really difficult to pull off and that's how you do it. Now let's talk about the third main problem. The third big issue is you take your cleaner, you spray it all over the window, you're doing exactly what you should be doing, you're using your alcohol solution or you're using just a basic cleaner, you're rubbing it around with your towel, you made sure the environment is right, you made sure that your towel is dry or you're introducing a second towel and you even made sure that you cleaned all the fogginess off of the window and you're not getting streaks this time but you're getting these tiny little pieces of lint or fibers all over the interior of the window 
window and you're like, no matter how much I wipe this, I can't get these tiny little fibers, lint pieces off the interior. The problem this time is actually with your microfiber towel. Now I'm gonna be introducing here a towel that is a waffle weave tight knit towel. What this is, is the perfect interior glass towel. Because it is a tight weave and it's a relatively low GSM, it stands for grams per square meter, you are not going to get any fibers letting go of the towel and clinging to the interior. When you use a classic microfiber towel like this that has either been washed or a microfiber towel that has been used in other places in the car, you will start to degrade the microfiber, particularly when you put it inside of a dryer, when heat touches it. That lint will start to let go, cling onto the interior. It is why when you're cleaning interior windows, I suggest you only have a set group of towels for windows alone. They never get used for anything else. This waffle weave towel only ever touches interior windows. This, among with five to 10 other towels, get washed together. They're exclusively glass towels. That's how you avoid problem number three. So guys, there you go. That's as fast as I can describe most of the problems that most detailers experience when they are detailing windows and exactly how to fix them. I wanna emphasize the invisible glass product, while no, it doesn't come in like some big concentrate for detailers like you and me who are professionals, it is a really, really great product in terms of just a standalone glass cleaner. I tend to call this product the closest thing to a real glass cleaner as like IP or alcohol is. I always use 50-50 alcohol for interiors, but if you're gonna use something that's not that because you don't wanna turn it into a two-stage process if you don't have to, and you only reach for the alcohol when you can't get it right the first time, this is actually a really good product to use, and I think it's kind of been a staple in the detailing world for a lot of years because of that. So I'm gonna link this product up as well as some gallon size alcohol that I suggest, as well as the waffle weave towels that I suggest for interior windows, all in the YouTube description box below. Make sure to hit the like button on this video if you found some value here so that I know I can keep putting out instructional videos like this. And guys, as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, thank you so much for being involved. Keep working hard and I will see you in the next video.